that the Leader of the House is keen to see MPs return to the Chambers of Parliament. And indeed, the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority refused to fund appropriate maternity cover for myself on the basis that people needed to be able to speak in the Chamber. Yet today, in order to speak, I have had to abandon my baby proxy leave vote or else be reprimanded by the House authorities for speaking in the Chambers, making Parliament one of the few workplaces in this country where when a new mother comes in to do a Keep in Touch day, she is rebuked, not supported. Thank you, um, Madam Deputy Speaker. May I say what a pleasure it is to see the Honourable Lady in the Chamber, and may I congratulate her on the impeccable behaviour of her infant. Um, I'm, 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 mine are, of course, perfect in every possible way, but I'm not sure they would have been quiet for the whole time during a parliamentary uh, debate. So I congratulate her most, most warmly. There is no greater joy uh, than, than a, a, a new baby. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. We all recognise that this is a difficult issue for many and that there are strongly held views on all sides of this debate. Order. Before we start today's business, I want to say something about the presence of babies and very young children in the Chamber and the parallel chamber at Westminster Hall. It's extremely important that parents of babies and young children are able to participate fully in the work of this House. That is why, to be given one example, we have a nursery. The advice given yesterday to the Honourable Member for Walthamstow on the authority of the Chairman of Ways and Means, of which I was not aware of until last night, correctly reflects the current rules. However, rules have to be seen in context and they change with the times. This House has to be able to function professionally and without disturbance. However, sometimes there may be occasions when the Chair can exercise discretion, assuming to the business is not to be disturbed. I accept there are differing views on this matter. Indeed, I have been contacted by honourable members who have babies with a range of views. There are also likely to be some consequential matters. Therefore, I have asked the Chair of the Procedure Committee if she and her committee will look into this matter and bring forward recommendations which will ultimately be for the House to take a view on. Thank you. I am taking no points of order. Right.